Alrighty. Oh, music, music, music. We need music. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another live stream. How's everyone doing today? Hmm? Y'all good? Alright, I'm just checking a few things. Get started in a second. Wondering why the music isn't playing. Why is the music not playing? Music not. Oh. Okay. I really need to sort out these, uh. These audio cracks. <coughs> because if I mute it here, then that's not good. Alright. Well, let's see. What did I miss? Yeah. Roblox. Da 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 da. Hi. You're good. Hi, Robin. Hi, Acid Bob. What's up, guys? Been very chatty here at the start. I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, Arash! Coincidentally, I was planning on taking inspiration from Neon District recently. Also, hello. Well, if any of you guys want to just share some screenshots from it for me, I don't think I'm really gonna get around to playing Roblox myself. I am. I mean, we've talked about this a few times. I'm planning on playing some other games on on the channel and. Um, I've, I've, the, the urge to play some Subnautica has really been growing. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to get around to Roblox. But if you guys want to share some screenshots of Roblox, uh, of Neon District, on um, on the Discord, that'd be great. Uh, my favorite building from the game is the Aircom building. Okay, yeah, I'd like to see that. Um, right, I think everything's working just fine. I think all the audios and what not so good. Actually, what what child what what are we listening to today? I think we're listening to to more synthwave, right? Um, let's see. We've got industrial. Ooh, spooky, spooky. Uh, main character assuming the lead role and adds some drama to your life. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, see, here's something that I find interesting about Pretzel is because I'm still on the Synthwave channel from last time and they've rotated the Synthwave out of the the free ones that's available this week or today or whatever, um, I just press play and it, I, I can carry on with that. So if I just stay on Synthwave forever, that, that'd be good. I'm going to wait until, like, the League of Legends one comes up again. I like that soundtrack or oh, that... Um, that station that was a good station i mean at some point if when i when i start earning enough i'll get myself a subscription pretzel's got so much music it's ridiculous um and the the just the, just for streaming it's like ten dollars a month um and i'm not planning on using it for like videos and stuff anyway um because if you want to download it's like 30 bucks a month it's really expensive for that but it also has like two or three or four times more music than even Epidemic Sound does. So like 500, I think it's 50 or 500. Actually, have a look here. Um, so for, yeah, five, wait, no, let me, let me see here. So with the normal plan, uh, you can get 500,000 plus Twitch safe tracks, 60 curated channels, and 100,000 plus YouTube safe tracks. That's $9.99 a month, right? And if you use my code, then you get 20% off your first uh, month. Um, a link in the description. <coughs> spider Hut. <coughs> Hi, Spider. <laughs> um, and then if you want to be able to download, then it's 25 a month. And uh, you get all of what I just mentioned, plus 50,000 downloadable tracks. Um, definitely a, a, a much wider selection. And the stations by itself is just really, really fun. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, if anyone wants pretzel, uh, th this is mostly just for streamers. I know the average viewer isn't really going to be interested in this all that much. Um, I'll send it in a bit. Took like 10 pictures yesterday. Cool. Can't go wrong with some synthwave for sure. 
uh, I have my own playlist. It's 50 songs long. Yeah, I mean, when, when, I'm, when I'm playing by myself or when I'm building, um, for a long time, it was just straight Sabaton. <laughs> for, for a very long time. For almost a year, I was just listening to Sabaton on repeat um, on, on uh, Spotify. And now I've kind of switched over to Falling in Reverse. I, I don't know why, it's, just, it's a bit of a leap. But now I've been listening to Falling in Reverse, uh, well, mostly on repeat. It, it's very good for building. It, it gets my juices pumping for building. Um, uh, speaking of building, addressing the, the, the elephant in the room, small elephant. Um, there no, no no video today, right? The, the week kind of got away from me. And uh, I was like, nah, I, I made a lot of progress on, on Random Craft, on designing some stuff. Uh, finished the zombie circus, for those of you following that saga. Um, finished designing it. Um, so for the next episode, I'll be building the, the, the stack with the zombie circus and the converter and the, the, the clinic and everything. And uh, another two stalls in, in um, the black market, probably. But... I only got as far as actually designing all of that and not um, nothing else. Nothing. No no prep, no uh, resource gathering, no nothing. So the week kind of got away from me and I decided, you know what, whatever. We'll just we'll, we'll stream a little bit and then um, tomorrow we'll stream again and I'll just push it all to the next week so that... Um, it uh it's it's a bit i have the time to actually do it right yeah so we're gonna do it that way um okay well that's enough chitty chat chitty chat chats um so i'm gonna close up all of this nonsense and we're heading over to here and let me just pull up i still have it open i do not have it open uh so for today we are going to be building that basilisk okay let me actually first of all let me open this up a little bit better so there right so we're gonna be building the basilisk right or at least we're gonna be trying we're gonna be trying i haven't really made much progress on the one that we did last week that one is like 90 percent done anyway so i'll do the final tweaks on that when um when we get around to getting that video ready, right? Um, I have another picture here of it. Let me just see where, where is it. Um, that's the one from last time. That's the dropship. And then this is another picture of Basilisk that just helps me see it a little bit better from up high. And I think I'm going to keep this one in the corner. All right, so let's trim that up a bit. And then put this in the corner for you guys to look at and then I'm gonna also just bring up this picture for myself so I can see what I'm doing and I think that's good um, my hot take for society is that public bathrooms should all be unisex uh, that is a that is quite a hot take you got there that's Bob it's got the Team Fortress 2 logo on the front and everything. Wait, what has? What has the Team Fortress logo on the front of it? They should be binary. Uh, also, hi everyone. Yeah, I think I think bathrooms should still be binary. That uh, definitely not. The tank. The tank has Team Fortress. I don't know. I don't know what the Team Fortress uh, logo looks like, but. I mean, it's a uh, on the side. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into this. Right. Oh, I'm in I'm in the wrong world. I'm in the wrong world. This could this could be bad. Uh. Ooh. Go back here. Okie dokie. Right, where were we? We were over this way. 
So this is the one from last time. Um, still, I still feel like it needs a little bit of structure to its body. But all in all, uh, and obviously a little bit of texturing and all of that, um, might change out the gun so it is using maybe tiles or something so that it looks a little bit more, or maybe just uh, cobbled deep slate, yeah, something like that. So it'll, so you can distinguish it from the body. I don't know. I still still figure that out. But I definitely need some more because um, the the yeah these axles and stuff are not even really attached to anything yet so but that's that's a problem for another day um so now let us see about getting this design done out a little bit um so the first thing that we're probably going to need to do is plan out more or less the shape of it so i was thinking let's let's see here Let's change out my bar for a second. Um, this thing looks like it's still gonna need a an even center. Then we're probably gonna need to go two on each side, um, and then another. Then it'll probably be a something something else as well. Uh, and then for the leggy bit, probably good to do, to do that as a two as well. Hey, it's Acing. Hi, I'm back. Yeah, that's nice. All right. So I think that's going to be more or less the width of it. All right. Um, see here. Something like that. Okay, um, and then for the length of it, let's think, because it's not, it's not that easy to see the length of this thing. So <clears throat> it's going to be one, two, three, four, uh, seven, seven like that. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, yeah, seven. And then maybe we do another four. That might be the right size for this. Well, I'm thinking maybe another two. Hmm. Okay. So obviously for this, we're gonna end up having it where maybe these last three are gonna be more inward. <coughs> and uh yeah something like that that's gonna be the general shape of it i think then we'll go around the, the back i should probably look at some pictures from the back of this thing as well um it is a very like uh mud crabby looking thing uh how you been lately i've been good I've been good. Just like I said, week kind of got a little bit away from me, so no video today. Today we're just gonna stream a little bit and stream again a little bit tomorrow, and I'm just gonna focus on getting that video out next week. But then we'll do the random craft video, and then I'll probably move on to actually doing this military tutorial after that, because um, if it's today's live stream, tomorrow's live stream, and then another one next Saturday, that should be enough to for me to do a bunch of the vehicles and then I'll do some of the like turrets and all that sort of stuff behind the scenes you know easy peasy uh should be should be easy peasy I don't know if it is okay but now now this is gonna need to be at least um and I'm just gonna do I'm gonna make sure I don't attach these things so I can let's move this all up a little bit move to up we're gonna build this thing a little bit in the air and then we'll think about maybe lowering it a bit because this is a hover tank 
right? It's going to have some of our patented uh, Ender Hover technology on it, and that is going to need some space, right? So, as an example, we're going to have end no 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 search bar Ender chests. We're gonna have some Ender chests, and we're gonna have them maybe like two in. So we're gonna have one there. End call. That's a nice... N oh. oh, I'm writing that down. I need to write that down. I need to write that down. That is a beautiful name for our military. Or even just like a vehicle. A vehicle company, right? Just have a vehicle company called End Call. That'd be sweet. Okay. So this thing's gonna have like a hover there and okay, so that's let's see one two three in from there So this is one two three in so we're gonna have the other one there probably And does that one two three? In? Oh perfect. Okay, so the hover tech is gonna kind of be holding it together like that We're gonna make sure that the tip is a little bit more um, lowered and also at the same time it's gonna um it's gonna be looking a little bit lighter but then the pack is gonna have kind of like a counterweight sort of situation going on um so there might be like another hover tech thing if we do instead of doing one here we do one there we do one there so that can lift the back and maybe even propel it a little bit because remember, with this one, we're definitely not, um, <coughs> and usually never, we, we don't really recreate so much. Like, I did a little bit of recreating with the, the Militech truck with uh, Jack over there last time. But um, I don't really do uh, re... Uh, blah, 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 blah. What do you call it? Um, I don't do those things. <laughs> I don't do those things. I don't know what things I'm even talking about. Um, recreations. I don't do the recreations. We just kind of uh, mess around with it a bit, right? Okay. Um, so, now we're going to need some stone. So, I think if we did a little bit of this funkiness on the sides of these hover things, get them in properly. All right. And we can do that. We'll probably do one here and have it do a little upsy daisy over there or something. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Um, but we're going to do this as well, like that. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we, we need uh, we need more of these on this side. One here and one there. Okay. <laughs> so this we're just gonna do this whole thing mostly in like stone and smooth stone probably to get like the general shape of everything and then oh, again texturing later on right so that's gonna kind of be the propulsion system so now we need to think about uh, what are we gonna do for nose of this thing and all of that sort of stuff um, so I'm thinking actually right here if it has that it has like a hook sort of thing going on there right so maybe if we did a little bit of this and then we got in um, let's see, gates gates are we gonna go with hmm <clears throat> so, see, this is one of the times where, where recreation just doesn't work for me and you know, normally doesn't work. It, um, it's got yellow trim, right? But there aren't, like, for trim, usually you're going to use wood because it's, it's the thing that got, got, like, fence gates and, and, and posts and trap doors and all that sort of stuff, right? Um, but... It doesn't really have 
uh, you don't really have a yellow. You you have birch, which is close, um, and maybe the bamboo will work nicely once we have that. Um, yeah, bamboo would definitely work in this case, I think. Uh, but we don't have bamboo yet. So, what I'm thinking is... Um, I don't, maybe I don't want to go orange with this. Maybe we want to go red with this one. All right, red menacing. Make it look a little bit more... Um, make it look a little bit more you know, dangerous, I guess. And then we can at least use these ones, which is actually kind of nice. Um, yo, Foxy Bob Boy! Uh, the Master of Derpitude. Hola. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? Alright, so if we do a little something like that, maybe... I can kinda look like... What we need to go for. Because then what we can do... Is, instead of having these... We can maybe have some walls? So, let's see. For walls... It'd probably be good to go for some of this. Uh, good, good, man. Cheer and happy Friday. Cheers. Yeah, cheers to you too. All right, so do a little bit of wallage like that. Then we can have that nose bit. Um, actually, we do it like that. Then... Also has some grillage. Oh, I see. If I want to use the grillage, then maybe the uh, no, acacia. Yeah. You know what? I was trying to avoid doing more orange and stuff, but um, it's it's just such it's so much more versatile than the rest. Oh yeah, that that looks even better. That looks even better. We do it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then it goes kind of in, and so there's another thing there, and another thing there. Oh yeah. Okay. Right, but then we need this to be more like. That. We need a little pointy tip thing, right? So we can do this maybe, right? And a little bit of that maybe. Um, we do that. Okay, okay. Oh, well, we can just do. We can round these out a little bit like that. That kind of looks nice. Although this doesn't appear to. I think I spaced these things out a little bit wrong. You know what? Let's let's try again with this side. I want to see... This needs to go a little bit further back. And maybe we just do the two like that. So we can have... A something like this going. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably better. Right? Because we're still going to have another wall or something there, or maybe even have something like that. No, that doesn't work quite so well either. Um, can you... You can see the reference pick, right? Um, it's it's a Militech uh, Basilisk from Cyberpunk 2077 that we're using as reference. But we're just following it loosely, right? I kind of just... I love the shape of it. But it's obviously not going to stay 100% like that. Um, okay, this is all kind of falling apart now for me a little bit. Because um, <clears throat> that's not quite how I want this shape to be. not as pronounced as I would like so I think we need to do a little bit of something like this maybe even hmm yeah those tips those tips are gonna be a little bit difficult to try and shape out right but you know what that's kind of not terrible at the moment 
It's just that the center looks a little bit bigger than it should be. Um, I think the best thing I can try and do here is instead of doing this off to the side like it looks like it's supposed to be, I'm just going to do that. Right? And then we'll stop that there. We'll have that go in one. And then in another one. Actually, yeah, that already looks a lot better. Alright. Okay. Acacia and Andesite is a good combo. It is. It is a nice combo. Um, Acacia goes with a lot more than people give it credit for. Like, Acacia and... Um, and, and and deep deep slate is fantastic right yellow mr Dirtpool, more cyberpunk vehicles of doom i'm liking the color but i'm i am partial to yellow yes and uh, we were talking about this bamboo wood would have gone great with this to to get that yellow trim but unfortunately we don't have it yet but it's definitely something where i can i can make a yellow version of it for you later uh, when we get to 120, yeah? No problem. For you, I will do. Uh, right, so... We need to reshape this side then. And have this there. And there. So we can actually do this properly. Uh, sounds like a plan. Wait, has anyone wondered why we don't have warped and crimson boats? Yes, people have been asking that for a long time. People wanted to be, uh, want the crimson boats to be uh, lava proof and all that sort of stuff, right? All right, this is a very chunky, fat little boy. Um, but I'm hoping that that's going to be a cool thing in the end. Um, one thing that I just realized, though, is one of the reasons why this is looking a little funky is probably because all of these ones are supposed to be a little bit higher up. Well, no, that's not what I want you. What? No. How did... What, where did you come from? Get, get out of here. All right. So move... Okay, so that's a good start as well. Uh, now, what I was thinking was, because I can't see the back of this thing, but I, uh, I still, I, I'm pretty sure that it would make sense. <laughs> that would have been easier to look into my inventory, but whatever. Have a little bit of this bad boyness going on up here. Um, and maybe even... Okay, this time I at least know I can get this here. We'll have one of them and do a little bit of this. <clears throat> right, so that's going to kind of be how the back is going to end up shaping up. Um, now, let's see here. Right, because... <coughs> for one... I think that this needs to come out a little bit more. That is a lot. That is quite a lot. Okay, something like that, maybe. Um, and maybe even not that much there either. Yeah, this one's really difficult to try and get. Well, we're gonna just keep chipping away at it. Get it as none looking as nice as possible, right? We're gonna have some bars at the back there. Maybe even bars that swing around like that. Aww. Yeah, no, this is definitely not... No, no, you know what? No, no. This needs to come out by, like, another thing like this. Right? We want this thing to be a lot fatter. Like that. that although 
this could also end up being a case of hmm, one, two, three. Yeah, we can go up like three. Hmm. I'm not entirely, entirely sure. Um. I think if we did something like this out the back end of it, and then that can be like that. Although we could do some slabs. Let's just get the shape. Get the shape. Do something like that. Okay. okay. The tank would be impenetrable in battle. I mean, at the moment, it's very penetrable. Look, I'm. <clears throat> Never mind. Never mind. You know where that was going. Um, but yeah, at some point, it definitely needs to be impenetrable. I mean, this back end is going to need to come out to like... Maybe not that far. Maybe like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The back, the back is still up for, up for debate. But now, um, yes, what if we did this, but then we stopped it there, oh, we stopped it there, and then we did a little bit of the Dang it! Need to scrap some bars, please. Okay, then we do the bars around the outside like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I said I could have like a cool defense field as a shield instead of armor. I mean, yeah, it would be cool if you could just build something like this and. Designated be a tank and put some. Well, I guess that's what data packs are for, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Now, what I do think is that this needs to go one more back for now I think one is enough for now and then we'll bring this out to offer a little bit more separation mm -hmm. because we want this to have bars at least there well, not quite. This thing, this thing needs to be a fair bit wider. You know what? No, we're just gonna we're gonna leave it like that. This is gonna be a compromise we're gonna have to make. Um, so otherwise, this thing's gonna end up being maybe a little bit too big, All right? But we're getting somewhere. Um, in fact, one thing we could do is replace these with some heads, maybe. But I would need to find some good heads for that. Um, okay, but one thing we can definitely do is let me grab some andesite. Grab the andesite. Um, hello, is this the Militech Basilisk? It... Uh, that's what we're working off of. That's the reference. Hi, uh, Baruso. Right, that's a new name. Welcome to the stream. Um, it's it's the reference we're working off of, but it likely won't end up being a basilisk by the end of it. Um, we kind of we kind of deviated uh, at at certain points, but yeah, we're working off of the basilisk. Um, let's see. We do a little bit of that. Um, See, this is the point where I think I'm going to need to 
use some slabbage. Right? Um, there, so we're gonna need slabs for the majority of all of Let's just put the slabs in for now. I want to see something. We do slabs like that. Hmm. Yeah, I have officially joined the Discord server. <laughs> Finally, Acid Bob. Finally. All right. Nice. See now, here's another thing. I really wish we had uh, gray trapdoors. Because, like, I want this thing to have more shape upwards, right? I want it to have some shape there, and then I want it to maybe come down here again so it looks a little bit more the way that it's supposed to. But we can't do any of that. And also, this one here, I think we're gonna go with uh, this one for that circular thing that's on the. On the thing there even though that sticks up a lot um, <clears throat> I still think that that is okay looking okay. and this is this is the this is the point I'm trying to make about deviating because um, I'm sure someone like Captain Jack would probably be able to get close to this although this thing is very high detail if you look at the the uh, if any of you have seen the tank that he did recently, um, he, he he did a tank from Star Citizen, and that was a very plain-looking tank, right? Um, because he also doesn't like take on projects that have this much detail because it it's just it's too difficult in Minecraft to do. So I don't even think he would try and attempt this. I think he'd have more sense than I do to try and attempt this one. Right? Uh, we need more wood variants. Yeah, I mean, they're working on it. They, they, the last, uh, last update was the mangrove, and then we got two new wood types in the next one. So, I mean, it's not like that. I don't... Putting, putting more in at a faster pace would just be um, too much, I think. I think they're doing a good job of how much they're putting in. Um, I think we're gonna leave this shape kind of like that because I can't think of how to improve that right now. Uh, Jack got a great shape, but textures wasn't really there. I looked at, I looked at the, uh, I actually downloaded it um, to, to 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 look at it, and uh, it's 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 good. Um, Again, the the color palette that he was working with required uh, some yellow trim and stuff like that, and it's just not there. It's just not available, right? It's... So that's that's just one of those things that you got to kind of deal with. Actually, I can show it to you guys. Um, I do have it on my Lightmatica right now, so copy. Flip and paste. <clears throat> okay. Just so that I can get a better view of the whole thing. Paste all, all of that in. I mean, it's starting to get a nice shape. It's 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 got it's coming to that uh, like <clears throat> um it's just like a mud crab kind of kind of vibe right okay so one thing we're gonna need to try and figure out here next is um let's get some andesite slabs in because and that's not how you spell andesite slabs uh -huh. so we're gonna go up from let's say from here Wait, keep those ones down Actually, no, um, we're going to need stone here, stone here, and then we can go stone like that, 
just on like that. And then we can have some andesite slabs here and here, and then maybe go up from there to that. And then we're gonna need, let's see, stone stair. <clears throat> one in the middle. Oh no, that's, oh, that's stupid. Okay, so what if we did... We did that. And then... A little bit of this. Oh, this music. Whoa. Okay, that's a bit of a stronger slope than uh, we probably need it, but I, uh, it's, it's going to work, I think. So then we can have those nosy bits. One there. And... Ah, yes, I can have that. So we can have another one there. We can do that. In fact, can we just do... Yeah, I guess that makes the slant look a little bit better as well than it's an actual up to there. Okay. So then from there... Ooh, how do we do? How do we do? I'm also going to need to figure out, uh, this is a little bit thick, a little bit thick for me. Hmm. I think definitely something to help round out, because it doesn't have like bars and whatnot at the front, but a little thing to help round out the shape a little bit better. That looks, that looks good. That looks, that looks decent. Okay. So then we're going to have this one, this one be andesite. And then perhaps if we did this as stone stairs. I mean, it's fine that the bars don't attach, right? It's not a big deal does help to round out the shape here a little bit as well, which I think is good. I don't know. It's it's an idea. It's something to play with. Um, that definitely doesn't make sense out there. But we're going to move back to just using stone for this. Okay, I mean, the front shape of this whole thing is starting to take shape. So that's interesting. Um, for now, I also think I'm just going to do all of this in stone. Even though I know I need to change out some of that. <clears throat> uh, in fact, one of the things that we probably need to change out that isn't the same color would be, what if we got some smooth stone involved here? Right, so smooth, smooth, ah, smooth, and then... Smooth. Ah! Smooth, smooth. Man. Oh, go away with you. Oh, wow. Wow. Now I'm just... Just being bleak no block placements. Okay. Yeah! That looks nice. That looks nice. Uh, Parusa. So, Double, are you planning on building the Arasaka AV in the future? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Um, that's like the Arasaka taxi thing, right? Like a very small version of the Militech Manta Ray sort of thing. Um, yeah, I might. Again, I'm not doing this to recreate Cyberpunk 2077 sort of stuff. 
I'm doing this as I have themes to build, right? So I don't know how much of my content you've watched before, but we were doing just regular vehicles. We were doing Metro, um, all that sort of stuff. Hey, BMA, what's up? Oh, Octavio, what's up, dude? I haven't seen you in a while. And BMA, thank you for popping in. What's up? How's everyone doing? One of my faves. Um, so I'm not, I'm not really like trying to recreate Cyberpunk uh, 2077. We just build Cyberpunk sort of stuff here. Um, I had this conversation the other day with someone and I had to explain. No, not the game. The genre. The, the, the sci-fi genre, right? The subgenre of cyberpunk um so if if uh, a theme for a video comes up where the arasaka av fits into then yeah it'll probably make an appearance it has been a while bma what you've been up to hmm? okay let's start rounding out this ah this shape as well hmm. uh Tavo, you you played you played uh, Cyberpunk. Did you ever finish it? I don't know. I still haven't finished it. I'm like a third into the game. I'm, I'm like, and I love it. I really enjoy the game. I just never. It's just it's like Skyrim. I have played Skyrim so many times. Tavo knows this, and I've never finished properly. Just never. Mm. Actually, that is that is far too low. Um, in fact, now I'm starting to see that this, the, yeah, this definitely could up. Ah, uh, no, this could definitely go up higher, which means we would be able to do these bars. <laughs> this is all coming together. Do the bars up there, perfect. And then let's change all of these out for stone as well. Texture it all later. Nice. I like it, but I got back to the Minecraft thanks to you, so didn't finish it. Don't blame me. <laughs> Don't blame me. Um, have you been Have you been playing on Atlantia lately? Recently? Lately? I know. I know not much of what's going on there right now. Um, Okay, so this thing, now that it's all shaped out, definitely is gonna uh, oh, no. do a little bit of that. And then for this one, actually, for this one, it's gonna go there, but for this one, it's gonna go like that. It's gonna go up a little bit. And then in one more, and probably this one in two more. Right. I'm, I'm starting to realize that this thing is going to... I need to move back even more. But that's okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's how we go. That's how we do. Do do. Right. So we have those things. That's looking nice. Then I just realized that about... About here, we need to make a dip. So this one needs to be there, and that one needs to be there. And then we'll cover this up. Because there we're going to be putting in some kind of player head. Now let's see if we already have a player head to give an idea of what we're going to be doing with it. Ah! That's very quick. It is very fast, very fast. Let's see, something... You know what, a cage light. Cage light could work, a yellow... Yellowy cage light, That that's nice, okay. Let's do a little bit of the yellow cage light up in this business. And it is attached to the bottom. Oh, it's a frickin' slab, a frickin', frickin' slab, frickin'. Well, we can just put it there. I think that still kind of conveys the right message. No, it doesn't really, does it? No, I don't like it. Make it stop. Uh huh. Uh, also, no, I was working overseas on. 
have to check in on the server soon to check if I got looted. Uh, I don't think they would have done that. Um, okay, so I'm going to need a stair here, Dan. I'm going to need a stair there. Actually, can I just put that back for a second? So I don't have a one of these stairs, which is... Uh, where are my smooth stone stairs, Mojang? Jack Nabbit? Where are they? That would be great right now. That would be exactly what I need right now. So, uh, we'll just go with this. Then I can at least put this thing... Ah, you son of a mother. Give me my catch light back, please. Thank you. That is how suns work. Really? I had no idea. <laughs> okay. That looks a little bit better. Okay. So then let's start thinking about how this gun is going to end up working. For this... I mean, I would prefer if it was a bit bigger, but I don't think we're going to be able to do this more than just like... Um, and you know what? I think I might be going for Deep Slate on this one. So, let's see. It needs to start kind of back here. Right? Yeah, more or less. Um, which means we can bring this around. That's also where the smooth stone is going to stop, I think. I think we're also going to do that. Okay. Okay. Getting there, we're getting there. Now, how do we do the gun? Um, I guess we could go for some rodage. Again, this is not... That would be nice if we had a, a rod that was blackish or grayish or dark grayish or something like that, right? This is just a gun. We have anything else that we could do? Yeah, chains. Chains is the right color, but it's very, very distinctly not a barrel, uh, like a gun barrel. Um, I'll try it now. I'll try it. Let's see. I mean, from afar, it probably would still kind of... Mm, it looks flimsy, man. Yeah, deep slate walls might actually be a, 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 a good option. In fact, you know what? Yeah, let's go deep slate wall first. We'll do one of those. And then, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna lean into the orange. We're gonna lean into the orange, and we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do, uh, the rod. Not the rad, the rod. This one. We're gonna go like that. Probably do a little something like that. Then we can have a gun like that. I think that looks okay, right? Then we can maybe continue with the deep slate just a little while longer and do some slabs around it like this, right? And at that point, we are actually at the right level here. So this is this is all coming together nicely, very nicely. I do feel like I'm going to back this out just a little bit more, but we're gonna do it from here 
down to here. We're going to just move that one more. Oh. Yes. Now these um, bars are also got a better length. Cool, 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 cool. I'm kind of sure of how I feel about that one being closed like that. I prefer to see, prefer to at least see it a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. All right, let's do that. Yeah, well, this is coming along quite nicely. I am, I am impressed at the uh, the the speed at which we're making progress here. Usually, I um and ah uh, far more than this. Uh, you guys have been awesome so far. Alright, so now we need that barrel thing of the on top, right? The tank or whatever it is. And that... Oh, there's also actually another thing that we're gonna need. Um, up there. Oh, go away. But at least those two there. That's gonna look like those ammunition crate looking things up on the on the roof. And then next to it, we're going to do the barrel. Now that barrel's got a bit of a greenish tint to it. Um, and again, I think I wanna just lean into that because the closest thing to that would be something like dark prismarine, maybe. But what we could do is just lean into it and go with waxed oxidized copper right maybe even um mix in a little bit of something else if we do it like that that's actually pretty spot on for the shape and size of it okay. the only problem is that it's a top slab and a bottom slab like that which means that I won't be able to put something dead center there. But if I lifted this whole shebang bang up a little bit, um, and then also we could probably just go straight over to this one. We do it like that. And we'll even lift up this a little bit. Yeah, it's fine that it's a little bit more higher than it is in the reference. That's fine. It does give me the opportunity to put like a valve or something on the front of that. Uh, it does look like it can screw open, right? It looks like you need just a, a giant key, turn it, open it, and then boom, pops your uncle, vanish your aunt. Uh-huh, well, let's see. What looks like it could be that thing. Maybe this one? Kinda. Could also be one of these fan looking things. Right? Yeah, I think the fan looking thing. Oh, no, this one, this one, this one. Let's do this one. Uh, this day has been filled with planning for my cyberpunk city. Okay, that's good to hear. What, uh, pro what sort of progress have you been making? Yeah, that looks, that looks all right. That looks kind of cool. And now that I think about it, let's see, let's see, let's see. Scaffolding everywhere. Ooh, interesting. Scaffolding. Okay, now I want a little bit more of this here. Maybe even all three of those. I can't really differentiate those anyway. And then maybe we're going to put another one of these there. That's kind of like the light thing that's there, but it's also not quite like the light thing that's there. Or I could do just another light. I could do these lights. Oh, you know what? Actually, these lights need to be... There needs to be one there. There needs to be one there. It's not exactly the same lights, but it's best I could rustle up, right? Um, actually, now that I think about it, what if I 
went back with that one. We just did that there. Okay, that looks better. Also, that kind of needs to be one of those. Yeah, that kind of looks a little bit better. I think maybe if we did one of those things in front of it as well. I don't have yellow for that, but mm, that kind of looks all right. Or oh, actually, no, you know what? Eh, let's let's not be snobby about it. Let's do one of those. Because why not? Why not? It kind of does look like the thing it's supposed to be. Um... I think I want to take this and move it to there. Have it be more like that. Just, I know it's not accurate. I would wish that this was one lower or like a half slab. Imagine you could have half slabs with like that pattern on it. That'd be kind of nice. But I guess what we could also just do is a little bit of that. That needs to kind of come up anyway, right? Just come up and attach there anyway. Um, or do we do some stairs maybe? If we did a stair like that. Or maybe a stair like that. Oh yeah, that can kind of work. That can kind of work. But also maybe do some stairs here. Yeah, okay, this is this is a lot a lot chunkier here than it's supposed to be, but it makes the overall thing look a little bit better in my opinion. So we are gonna do just that. Okay, this thing I moved into completely the wrong spot on this side. So that and then we do here was a little bit of that right yeah that's good that's good that's good okay and then here we'll just cover all of that no oh and this had a stair there that's what was missing there and then let's do that I mean it's coming along it is coming along whether we get around to making it look as close to the basilisk as possible or just making our own tank whatever it's coming along and I like it I mean yeah it still needs some texture it needs some it needs a sign here that says Militech and all that sort of stuff right um I mean, we could do that. I do. What if we did it a little bit more chunky there, because I, I want to get the Militech sign on there without it like hanging over, actually. Um, let me just see here for a second. What was this Militech? This was on Dark Oak. Oh, and it's three signs long. Dang it. Okay, okay. Because it's a nice it's a nice version of the of the name plate, right? So we'll just need three there then, I guess. Do that I guess. Hmm. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh, we do it like this. And then, oh no, 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 like that, okay, that is a, that is a, a better shape, better, maybe, I don't know, potentially better shape. Maybe do a little bit of this action there. Thing. And 
maybe this should just be a slab. Ooh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Okay, now let's do that on the other side as well. Go like that. And then... A little bit of that. A little bit of that. One, two, three. Take that away. Put that in. Put that in. Okie dokie. Now we have at least three there for the Militech sign. And I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, with the, the... This one. I mean, I could... I could make some transparent map art with the actual Militech logo on it. Maybe make it like a two map. So it's, it's actually the Militech. Well, we could go for the end corp actually make an end corp um, logo right that could work but for now we're just gonna we're just gonna do this because I wanna put that detail in All right, so mill the tech that in the side mill attack I probably should do that on like a K show or something just to keep it uniform but uh, I kind of also like the the mix mashiness of some of this kind of nice um, let's see here this one feels like it should probably be one of those I think that actually makes it look a little bit more yeah kind of better kind of better um, The, these things don't attach to iron bars, right? No, they don't. I'm like, that would have been good. That would have been useful. But oh, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so we still need some... What happened here? That... Mm... Oh, that was where I wanted to put the thing, right? Um... Yeah, we're probably just going to skip those black lights. Uh, yeah, I'd go Encore personally, might bat away the idea that you're just doing 2077 stuff, even if that is the inspiration. Yeah, yeah, I probably will end up doing, um, I'll either do just Encore with this, uh, or I will, um, maybe make some, make some map art with that, right? Um, here's, here's something I actually, I, I don't know if everyone that's here knows about this. So I want to, I want to actually share this with a few of you, right? So this way, this way, I, I mean, I get, I get, oh, where's my maps? Where's my maps? Well, my maps are gone. Oh, Pytech, you! I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. So, I mean, you guys have seen the 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 map art that I do that has like the transparencies and stuff on it, right? Let's hope that my map map zone is still here. Yes, it is. So the way that I do the, the, the transparent map parts is pretty simple, right? This is the void, right? You can see it says Minecraft void biome, right? Now in survival, obviously you would just go into the end and do it from there, right? But essentially all you need is either regular glass like this or um, redstone lamps like this and if you put them over the void they don't actually register as anything so you keep your alpha channel right and that is how I made the metro map and also how I did like the random craft uh, season 2 thing that has you know its edges and stuff out like that or what was the other ones the the one from the train station the this one and the stop sign and the heartbeat monitor and everything this is how I do it right so I just wanted to show you guys that. And then now I have to figure out why all of my maps are broken. Yeah, they're all gone. They're all gone. 
he I think he deleted my actual dot uh, like data folder and so all of the maps are gone summon a niche I'm going to find him I am going to murder him No, I'm sure we have it on backup somewhere. We can just pop it back in. I'm not actually going to kill him. All right, so uh, back to this thing, right? Now, something I'm realizing here is that there's like a triangle thing there, right? Now, if I maybe did... Because that's also a dark triangle thing, right? So maybe if I... Oh, my hand. Okay. Maybe if I went for some deep slate there, and this time maybe a little bit of polished deep slate, we can do a little... I should probably change all that to polished as well, now that I think about it. It just looks better for what it is we're doing. Polished, polished, and wall. Polished. So we'll do that one. Not the top one, I still like that one. Having a little bit of a, a different texture. And actually, these ones, I like like this, because they do look more like the crates with the texture and everything. But yeah, I like I like the idea of uh, leaning into that end corp thing. I think that's cool. Okay. Yeah, if we do if we do these here and here, and then from there, this is actually all a bit more of the smooth stony sort of stuff. Right, so let's do all of this in smooth stone. Or maybe andesite. I don't know yet. I'll I'll still decide. Probably andesite, actually, now that I think about it. But we'll also need to close up those. Actually, this might be a good place to put in a little bit of lighting, because we don't have any lighting in this thing yet. And I like to make my builds actually uh, spawn-proof, because, yeah. But we'll have a little bit of light there. I don't know how far that actually extends. Why can I not see my light level? Do I not have... Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, I deleted all the uh, freaking mini HUD and everything off of this one. Because it was... Why did I do it? I can't remember why I did it. Ah, okay, whatever. We don't have light levels now. We'll check them later. But it's coming along. It is coming along. So from there, actually, I do think that here we're going to need to bring this up. So like that. This thing's very back heavy at the moment. I need to figure out how I'm going to counter that. And obviously, I still need to put a whole bottom on this thing as well. Uh, that's a problem for another day. We'll deal with that later. Um, yeah, I guess if I make this a little bit... Because, let me see. Let, let's see about the other picture, actually. Uh, this one. This thing goes down a lot more than I expected, actually. Oh, well, let's look at it a little bit side, so I can see the bottom a little bit better. Right. We still need, still need this to come down a bit as well. Um, let's see. If we do andesite stairs. No, not there. And the side stairs there. Yeah. Something like that. So what about this back shape? 
Now, this thing looks like it doesn't have these ones here. What it actually has is potentially another one here. Two, three in between one two three ah, okay that's actually perfect for distribution sort of vibes and then this is where I think because uh, I don't really have any back pictures of this thing so it might end up being that I try and um, just to wing the back of it right a little bit what else am I gonna do? Alright, one of these things here next to me is having a little bit of a fit. Don't know why. You guys are all still seeing everything, right? Properly, right? Um, okay, so one of the things that I think I need, and again, this is where the freaking smooth stone stairs would have come in handy, is all of these need to be stairs just for now just until I can figure out what else I'm gonna do around here uh -huh. yeah I'm gonna go back to the other picture it does actually show a fair bit more especially up at the top all right so from here this whole thing kind of needs just something like this. Yeah, it does. That. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, that one attaches again. The other one kind of just dips down. Hopefully do something like that. Okay, fine. Do that. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't look terrible. Okay, I definitely need to pull in some of the gaps around here. Just fill it in with some, some of that for now. Oh, yeah. Actually, one of the things that we can definitely do is grab that bad boy definitely put some lights under that so it looks like there's actually light coming out of there just if you have the, yeah, the shaders on i don't know if i'll be able to see this in noon light nope this is all very bright in noon light but yeah if you if you have the dark thing if you, if you, if you have the dark thing if you have the like nighttime then there be light coming out of that, or at least make that one look like it's been turned on, right? So that's nice. Um, we could potentially also do a little bit of lighting under there, just to help light up this whole thing. Because I like that idea. And let's see actually what it looks like at night. Time set. What am I doing? Time set fit. Yeah, it's nice that it has a bit of a glow to it. Could do with a little bit more glow, to be honest, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, this thing isn't fatter than. I expect it to be fat. Um, it, it it's about as fat as I expected it to be because I, I I do have other pictures that I was looking at of of this thing. What? I'm set. Noon. Yeah. I have been looking at other pictures of it, and it is quite a, a like a round boy, right? Like if you look at it like this, it is quite round. Um, I think we're getting the shape quite nicely. Um, 
All right, so a few of the other things that are popping up over like here. I think what we can do is maybe have, oh, come on. Maybe have one of those and actually maybe also one of those. Because there is, the, 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 uh, there is, there are those black lights at the back. Now, if I were to do one here, it would stick out a little bit, but over there, it doesn't stick out as bad. So I kind of like that idea. Um, so that's okay. Then a bit of a white mechanical piece at the back of this thing. And I don't know what else I could possibly do to put that in there, except maybe just that. Um, and then next to these, there are like things that I don't know what they are, but I can only describe it as pressure plates. <laughs> okay, so those things can go on there. And something tells me, even though I can't see the other side of this, that this thing probably needs some kind of restraint. If we do that, and then potentially uh, just embellish the idea a little bit by doing something like that, so it looks like it's strapped on there fully. Even though I don't think it would need something that, but I just like the idea of it. There's also a bit of an antenna thing. I don't know if that's just a line in the picture that, but there does seem to look like some kind of antenna thing on this side here somewhere. So what if we just did a bit of a thing like that? Cause I mean, they, they're supposed to have some kind of radio antenna, right? He is. He is. Okay. This is still, for me, a little bit too open. I don't quite like that so much. So, what if... I mean, we could push it in a little bit more, I guess. And then cover it up a bit. Yeah, what if we did this? We... I don't know, this way. Move this in a bit, and then grab some slabby boys. Let's do that. Yeah, it's a little less intrusive, I think. I mean, I mean, we could have it where that side does that. That covers it up a bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this by hand. It'll be faster than typing. And that. And then like that. And then I'm guessing it'll probably just close itself off at the back like that. I mean, this shape, this shape is decent. I don't know what you guys think of it. I think it looks pretty damn good. Um, one thing we can do to help round out the back shape a little bit is maybe that nonsense. Uh, I don't know if this thing would require tail lights. Who knows? I guess we could actually just do the tail lights like this, right? There we are, we got taillights. Awesome. Um, that's looking pretty great. Okay. Hey, Jan. Oh, wait, no, you 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 were around. I was like, oh, no. never mind, never mind. Sorry. Brain, brain fart there for a minute. Uh, one thing that we could do is have some exhaust out this way. Yes, let's get some exhaust out that way. Now, what would I use? What was I using last time? Where's my... those ones mm. I 
Let's just grab one of these then. Um, probably like these ones. Probably a little bit of exhaust. I mean, you could use. You could probably get away with using uh, a regular um, skeleton skull for what I'm about to do. Mm, same way you could probably get away with some some glow signs for these ones, right? Um, just saying. But let's get a little bit of that going. So it's got some exhaust there. I mean, it does have these, but I don't know if I like them there. It's kind of cool to find a spot for them up front here somewhere. So now... What do I do from here? We just do a little bit of this to close it up. I mean, that kind of works. I could faff around with the shape or I could just do this. And that's pretty flat, though. But it kind of is supposed to be, I think, maybe? Possibly? Hmm. Okay, so the bottom of this thing is going to need some work. Because I don't want it to just be, oh yeah, okay, so let's just, we just close it up and then boom, it's done, right? So let's do a little something, really use our imagination for the inner workings of this thing a little bit. Right, so... Something like that, connect all of it. Um, just, oops, no. Close up all of that. Because why not? Um, kind of want it to be looking decent when you come, when you look at it from the bottom, right? Same way, I don't really like what's going on here. Especially considering how that's pulling that. Uh, I don't like it. So we're gonna go with some slabs, rather. Something like this. To that side, to this side. So, to be honest. Yeah, we do that. Okay. Now... I guess chassis, we're gonna go with something dark again, because it makes no sense. Connect these guys up a bit. Not that I think that's how this would work, but it's it's an idea. And now I'm just fooling around. And uh, the, ooh, actually, 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 now we're deviating, but whatever. Ah, let me get it. Meow. Yeah, why not? Get a little bit of that action going up front. See, now we're deviating. But I like it. I like it. Don't you like it? I like it. Ah. Attach these. Maybe we do a little bit of anvil nonsense. Completely unnecessary. But why not? Why not? We live extravagantly. Let's go with some deep slate stairs. Now, I kind of know how the bottom of a tank is meant to be, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, 
because it sure as hell isn't supposed to be aesthetic. Uh, the undersides of tanks are generally uh, designed to to negate like mine explosions, right? If they drive over mines and stuff like that, they need to. Um, that's why they, there's usually like um, B shapes underneath them. Same same with like Caspers and other transport vehicles. They have that. They have slanted un, uh, sides underneath them to be high tests so that when they drive over a mine and it explodes, the explosion doesn't lift the car or flip the car. It the explosion goes out on the on the slant on the diagonal and kind of shoots out the side at the bottom so it makes it a lot more stable a lot more uh, blast resistant right so we'll think about that and see what we can come up with for example we'll probably have We have something like that. That go out the back. Okay, just leave that closed up. Just kind of trying to figure out what would be kind of like the shape that I'm talking about. I guess I'm going for something like this. I mean, yeah, it's kind of kind of looking like what I'm what I'm envisioning. Something that looks like it could redirect the blast. Yeah, and you still can see some of the mechanical attachments and things. Um, one thing I do want to do is that, because they do need to look like they have something underneath them. That also makes sense for why they're a block off the ground now. The side. This is going a lot better than I was expecting. I was I was half tired and and actually I'm I'm kind of feeling a little sick today. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't know what exactly it is that's going on with me, but not really feeling that great today. But somehow I have managed to make this thing, which is baffling to be honest. <laughs> oh no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. What is the song? Getting confused here. Oh. Down there, down there. Yeah, see, this isn't quite right. This needs to be like that. Okay, so. Like that. I don't know, I'm not a tank expert. But, I. I this is working? 
Uh, all your designs are fantastic. Hey, Stanley. What's up? Um, thanks, man. Glad you like them. Okay. So, then this side. Did I do that on this side? I did not do that on this side. There we go. Like that. Like that. Yeah, we need to close that up. So that isn't exposed to the explosion. Go over to the top there. Put that there. Do it like that. Okay. I'm starting to think the chassis is kind of finished now. I wanted to add some lore to my city, so I added some cliff faces in the underground to set the feel it literally is underground okay cool man um there is something about like sunken cities or cities that have been built over or um you know like under cities and things like that kind of like what i'm doing on random craft at the moment right that it just it feels so nice right it, it feels nice that it's so bad. I like that. Okay, so the chassis, I think, kind of works. Um, now there's just a few other things that we need to try and figure out. One is I don't like that, so I'm going to put one of them there. I'm going to put one of them there. And then we're going to remove these. Just have that. Now, we could probably do with some kind of um, strip. Let's see here. We have some... We have to have some somewhere, right? I don't want... I don't want it to be like that. That's that's a bit much. What about you? What do you have? Oh, you have big ones, too. Um... I mean, I know I have a box full of things that I could... Ah, you know what, let's just go. We've already flown halfway here anyway. Let's see, we're going to go with Dark Oak. Actually, let me clear out my inventory for a second. There we go, Dark Oak. So, let's grab... Let's grab one of you. Let's grab... Yeah, I guess we could just do the other ones by hand, quickly. I don't know the song. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just toodling along. So let's say, yeah, we want one, one like that in the middle, right? And then we can still do. Um, let's think. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do the. Do the square boys. We'll do them on the second and third row. So they're more in the middle. And then we'll grab some die. Die. Die, motherfucker. Die, motherfucker. Die. And then we'll have some of that. Okay. Yeah, something like that. I think that's nice. I mean,. You don't want to really be warning people about your tank, but this is the back of the tank, so whatever. This is for the people following the tank, I guess. <laughs> Put the tank at the front of the convoy and then just, you know. Yeah, I'm braking! You need to stop now, or you're gonna crash into me and ruin your car. Okay. I mean, I think we did a dang fine job with this one so far. I think it only needs a little bit of detailing, a little bit of texturing, and then it's yeah, pretty much good to go. Pretty much good to go. This one, on the other hand, still needs a little bit of work. And actually, I guess we could do with a little bit of that chassis work that we were just talking about, right? So, what if... Now I'm not even going to look at the reference material because that's just going to make me uh, do things that I'm not supposed to. And right now, I'm just going to wing it and see what I come up with. Because I think once we put the chassis in, 
This one's going to look a lot more stable, a lot more chunky, and probably everything that it needs to be, right? Why did I not put one there? Interesting. Not that I'm sure even if that's what I want to do with it. But oh well. So if we put the that in there bit of a tricky one to get in and out of honestly might have to just leave that one open so i can get in and out okay let's see we again want something that is going to actually no what, what am i doing this shouldn't be like this i'm an idiot going the opposite direction of what I need to do. I need this to go here and there. And then from there we're gonna go with I go with a little bit of this. Yes! Turn this into a proper Casper looking thing. That's what we want. Again, up here. Lancer, what's up? How you doing today? see what this looks like from the outside that already looks a lot better it's not supposed to have that one and i also think we need to round that out a little bit more maybe even mm, no not that really oh i done mucked it up I can't get back into this. Um, I guess we'll just do this. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Uh, back. Just like that. And this side also. All right, we'll leave the scoop. We'll leave the scoop alone. All right, but... That's looking pretty dang decent. Now we need to just fill up the holes in some of this bodywork. We did that. Then we also started with... Ooh, actually, yes. This is where we can get a little bit of different texture and for a change as well. We get in there. You know what? I'm going to do that one as well. And that one's not even supposed to be like that pretty. Oh no, wait. That one was. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of this bad boyness. Ba boy. <laughs> Let's get some deep slate stairs in here. Go over that front mount. Yeah, and then we should be able to do the same on this side. Which 
means we should probably think about changing out a little bit of the centerpiece here. Do this, and then let's get some deep slate of this. Helps differentiate from the shapes and everything a bit better, right? Mm. You can change. I can't see. But yeah, that one needs to change. That one. That, that, that. Okay, because see, this one, this one um, is a lot different to the, the tank that we were just working on, right? This, it does it probably doesn't even have a driver. This is like self-driving. The guy up at the top just climbs onto the thing and mounts it when when they get there, right? Like the guys probably drive on the back, or that's what maybe that's what the truck hitch is for to actually um, pull like a trailer full of them. But I think it's more likely that they come in a separate transport, maybe something like the the Militech Manta Core sort of thing. I know this one's not from Cyberpunk 2077, but you get the idea, right? This is. This is something else. Um, this thing doesn't need a massive body. It's just an autonomous self-driving thing. And then when they get there, they'll they'll mount it and then fire it and all of that sort of stuff. So another thing that I would like to do is change out these ones and also the actual barrel of this thing, I think would look a lot better if it were like this. So that's good. Hey, we're gonna actually pretty much have both of these ones done by the end of today. Um, just looking if I really need it. Yeah, I think I really needed four plots for that. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, because that's what that's what this lever is for right? you can stand here and you, you actually mount this thing and you can see what you're doing now you probably put up some kind of heads up display up here so i uh, could could be done right we could put a we could put a um transparent uh the invisible item frame on that carpet i think i think you can put it on carpet on the side there and then we can put a a screen or something on it to make it look or we could just do it with I don't think you put signs you put signs there no you can't okay but yeah something like this and uh, now what else would I like to change oh, I'll probably change a little bit more of this as well and now that I think about it I think the entire middle section could do with being uh, cobbled deep slate right this mm, this idea might require a lot of work but you could also include cyberpunk warships and fighter jets in the video not this video first of all there's a side there, there's already a cyberpunk fighter jet um, design that I did for the airport I don't think I'm going to revisit that idea uh, the warship is it, it, it's it's too big Right, I did the I did the container ship um, for the port video, and uh, afterwards I was like, that that that's too big. That's that's beyond the concept of what those videos are supposed to be. They're supposed to be small, manageable um, template builds, things that you can that you can easily go and build maybe multiple times in your city to to put it in the places where they need to be, right? So, like, you could have a couple of cement trucks in your city, you could have the, the, the metro station, all that sort of stuff. Um, but, yeah, the, the 
the container ship was way too big and warships are just i mean they're gigantic right so maybe not as big as a container ship but they're still pretty dang big it's the, the sort of things that i don't it doesn't fit into this whole uh template sort of concept that these videos are built off of if you know what i mean <coughs> okay you understand good It's not that I don't want to build something like that. I would love to build something like that. But I think if I were to do that, it would be um, in that that like um, cyberpunk city building series that I, I, I've been talking about for so long that I still really, really want to get around to doing. Um, I think then if I build a port, I might have like a naval warship or something uh, docked in, in the port, build it. Um, I think that would be nice. Then it fits into the concept, right? <coughs> but for these sorts of videos, it, it, it would be massive overkill. So, yeah, no. But I think we're, 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 we've, we've, we've done a lot of progress. We've, I mean, we've pretty much finished this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm still quite surprised with how well we actually did. One of the things that I do want to change, though, just don't like don't like that that was flat smooth stone so much flat smooth stone i like it better when it's like this um the sides can stay like that it's got bars over it although we could probably change these bottom ones out it just gives it more texture give it a little bit more texture boom 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 all right we'll do something like that uh, I think this one's shit. Sure, I'm, I'm pr pretty much freaking done, to be honest. Um, so this one's also quite well done at this point. I might need to figure out a little bit of a better situation for that because that does feel a little bit too exposed. Um, as a design, that that wouldn't really be a good way of doing it um but i think we're pretty much done and we got like another seven minutes to go until we reach the two hour mark but you know what i'm in the mood for tacos so i'm gonna make myself some tacos um you guys have been fantastic today and we like i said we really got cracking on this one tomorrow we'll try the the militech manta right or, or manta call whatever actually we just pull it up and show you guys which one i'm talking about um this one <coughs> no can't see that so that's the one that i think we'll we'll try and tackle tomorrow all right um yeah i think that's gonna do it for today ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for a lovely live stream and uh like the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>